Hey, pleasant good morning to you. God is so good. Uh, still again, what are you preaching? Hear this. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 3 says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own loss shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. People don't like you to rebuke them. And so, if you allow individuals, you will only get a chance to tell them smooth things. Here it says in 2 Timothy chapter 4, the time will come where they will not endure some doctrine. That time is here. People don't want you to tell them how to dress. People don't want you to tell them not to steal. They don't want you to tell them not to covet. They don't want you to tell them do not commit adultery. They don't want you to tell them remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. A lady told me just recently, Mom, Pastor, I could keep any day for Sabbath. I said, no, I cannot preach that to you because uh, the Ten Commandments says remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And it points out that the seventh day is the Sabbath. She said, no, she can choose any day for Sabbath. I am making the point today, mostly to preachers. Some of you, God, go burn you with fire because you're preaching what people want to hear so that you can keep your congregation. Stop that and preach according to the word. You have to rebuke individuals. Even though they don't want uh, to hear the song doctrine, that is what must be in your sermon script. And this thing doesn't have to do with who is Adventist preacher and who is Pentecostal preacher and who is Anglican preacher. We must use the one Bible and preach the word, the song doctrine from the word. When you do that, people's blood will not be on your shoulder. Yeah, lead them to Christ into a better relationship and lead them away from sin and into a close relationship with Jesus Christ. God and Father, guide preachers today and let them know, young or old, that they must use your word and don't polish it up, but preach the sound doctrine and rebuke individuals and tell them what sin they have to leave off and give up in order to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Thank you ever so much. In Jesus' name, amen. May God richly bless you.